Apple Exmoor. We have uh, just driven up from Buckingham well, Plush, 10 miles north of Buck and Dorchester. To take 3,000 gallons out of the biodisc to his treatment plan for a social housing place. It's a big old uh, bio disc. My other driver's coming up later on to take another load out. Um, and I'm going to head back now to Dorset. If I can get out of this car park, that is. I work for a foreign firm called Buckley Newton Hire. I've been working for them about 20 years now, just over. And uh, here we run two tankers. And our main business is plant hire. Um, but I don't really have much to do with that sort of things. I started working for them, I was doing a bit of agricultural stuff. I came from a farming background. Uh, yeah, we used to run JCB fast tracks, doing waste disposal, and we moved on to HGVs. Um, my first tanker was an X Fill Trim Scania 94C with a 260 in it. Had that for a few years, and then we moved on to this brand new, at the time, 2015, V370. Um, when we, when we was, uh, Looking to buy a new lorry, the scanner said, Oh, yeah, we'll give you, you want the 270, mate. It's like, no. So uh, I managed to persuade my boss, well, they went on the sale, we can do a 360 five cylinder. So I want a six cylinder for the talk. What people don't understand is all these hills, as you'll see in a minute, we have to climb all these little places we have to go with these lorries. So I know this is a DC-13 bomb rated 370, but it still has 2,000 Nm of torque. The camera would do this just as some just how steep this is. We're fully loaded 26 ton. And this is like a, probably a 25% hill. Not a bit more. When we we'll fall off the edge of here, it's out of a drop. I'm going to manual change down a couple. You leave them in auto, you can command over them, or you can drive them in manual, just like a Tetronic, but I never drive them in manual. So, yeah, we're going to head back through Exford, back down the Taunton, back down the Oval, that's the way home, it's about two hours, and well, I've got two hours and 17 minutes driving time left. Um, I think we've actually ordered a new lorry. Possibly. Boss was uh, messaging me last night and we are not going for the 560, like I said in the other video I did, because we'd have to go for a G-Series cab and we don't want a G-Series cab because they're bigger than the P-Series cab, um, so we're going to just go for, not just, go for a 500 horsepower XT P-Series. Reason being, it, well, two reasons being, one maybe is that some places we have to go with these lorries. Um, you just, wow, it's just so tight, you're going down through lanes with hedges, your wheels are rubbing the banks either side. It's very hard to keep one of these lorries tidy because it just gets scratched to fuck. And you get down there and you say, cool, bloody hell, it's tight. And they go, well, the oil lorry gets down here. Yeah, my love, the oil lorry is a little four-wheeler. It's only about seven foot wide. So, Mark enjoys and driving a lorry in the rural areas. I love out here on Exmoor. We have a contract with a social housing group that have houses on properties on Exmoor. And uh, yeah, we do quite a lot out here. So I'm coming back up here later, not quite so far as Withypool, going to a place called Brompton Regis to, to do 
another smaller bio disc there. And by the time I get back with that one, that'll be my day done. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my short video. Playing out of Withyport, my trusted Scania. Um, and maybe I'll do another video shortly. Cheers, bye.